In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my 5 favorite effects that you can try out in your next video. So let's jump into the video. Alright, so here we are right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. The first effect we are going to create is a X-ray effect, which is one of the most popular music video effect. For creating this effect, all you need to do is to create a new adjustment layer drag and drop it above to your footage where you want this effect so this point is absolutely good for me so now just go to effects and search invert under channel we have an invert preset over here just drag and drop it to your adjustment layer and now we need to cut out our adjustment layer into a couple of pieces for that i just select this eraser tool you can also press ctrl k for a cut after every frame we need to cut out eight frames and here we have our eight pieces over here. So now keep your first frame, delete your second frame, keep your third frame and delete your fourth frame. And in this way, we have this layout over here. And now at the end, we need to delete this remaining adjustment layer, just like so. And here is the final result. Yeah, this looks really good. You can also customize it if you really want to do. You can make more pieces of adjustment layer if you want it longer. You can select this, go to effects control and here we have a couple of options that you can select. So I'm just go with the RGB. You can go with the red, green, blue, HSL, hue or anyone that you actually like. In my case, RGB is really good and that's actually it looks really great. The next effect we have over here is a motion blur so i usually use this effect for my text you can also use this for a video if you want to for getting this effect you just need to go to effects and search transform drag and drop it to your clip go to effects control and here we have a transform over here so firstly make sure you can select this uniform scale now i'm using this effect on my text and here you can see we have a little box over here so make sure you can move this at the very mid so the first thing you need to do is to create a new positioning keyframe make a scale keyframe if you really want to do something with a scale so now basically i use this effect to move my text from up to down right to left or somewhere else so for for that I just move this as you can see my text is just moving I want a motion blur and I want my text to come out from right to left or bottom to the mid with a motion blur so I just go and create a new keyframes and move it at the very left side just like so because I want my text to come out from left to right like so and reset the parameter so my text it just appear from left to right just like so but there is no motion blur over here so for getting a motion blur you need to go to shutter angle and change this angle to 360 like so here you can see we have a motion blur over here as you can see it looks really great but it's not much smooth for making it smooth make sure you can uncheck this use composition shutter and now just drop down your positioning keyframe just like so select your keyframes right click and go to ease in and it just look like this now we need to move these handles just like so at the very mid and make a peak over here so it just look like this you can also apply this effect to your video the next effect we have over here is tint which is really useful if you are going to change color of your footage for that simply go to effects and search tint drag and drop it to your clip just like so as you can see our footage is already going to black so now you can set custom colors like i have a black color over here and it just give me uh, this pretty nice look so in this way you can make a combination of two different colors you can select any color that you want So in this way, it will give you a double tune look over here. And if you want to use this tint effect for color grading for some kind of layers, you can also use a HLS apply to your footage, which is a color balance HLS. And here you can change the angle and you can get multiple looks over here. So this effect is really useful if you are going to create some kind of music videos. The next effect we have over here is a glitch effect, which is really, really 
good effect and my favorite one so for getting this effect all you need to do go to effects and search vr digital drag and drop this preset to your footage just like so and here we have a couple of properties over here so we need to make some basic changes to create a proper effect so firstly we need to decrease this distortion rate to zero because i don't want this distortion in my footage so i just decrease this value to zero increase this color distortion to 100 because i want its full potential so now we need to make a keyframe of this master amplitude decrease its value to zero now move your playhead three keyframes ahead increase your master amplitude value to 100 again move three keyframes again and change this amplitude value to zero now we have this smooth glitch effect over here to make it more better you can just go to effects and search for directional blur drag and drop it to your footage go to effects control and now move your playhead at the very beginning of your first keyframe make a blur length keyframe over here set its value to zero move your playhead at the mid at the same value of amplitude changes blur value to five move at the end of keyframes and changes blur length value to zero and it give you some directional blur over here if you want this effect for a multiple of time you just need to select all of your these keyframes hold alt key and make a duplicate of it The last effect we have is turbulent displays which is really good for text. This effect is also works for videos. For getting this effect just go to effects and search turbulent displays. Just drag and drop it to your text clip go to effects control and here you can see we have a very loose look over here here we have a multiple properties over here that you can add it you can choose any one of it that you actually like we have multiple properties over here you can increase the amount and make your text just look like this this actually give you a really good look you can make a evaluation keyframes over here with a zero value move your playhead forward just like so change this evaluation value to 100 and your text is just moving like so you can increase the complexity size or anything that you really want to do you can also apply this effect to the videos if you really want to do this effect is really useful if you are going to create some loosey title then this effect will be great for you Before ending this video, I just want to tell you about Wondershare Filmora which is one of the best video editor for you if you are a beginner or even pro. They have some features that actually save you a ton of time. We have a stock media over here, audio titles which is actually pre-made titles. You can use any one of it with just a drag and drop. We have a transitions over here that you can use in your videos and make your videos look really amazing. We have many categories of transitions that you can actually actually select and just drag and drop to your video and you all set and lastly we have effects over here so you don't need to create effects to your own you just need to drag and drop it to your clip and you all set so let's suppose I want to apply this glitch dispersion effect so all I need to do create a new adjustment layer drag and drop it about to my clip go to effects and drag and drop this glitch dispersion to my adjustment layer it actually give you a glitch dispersion in just two seconds you don't need to create it to your own you can use multiple effects that you really want to do in the same way we have a light lakes over here which is really good looking so let me try out and here you can see it's just a one second thing that you can actually need to do so if you want to apply some kind of transition in your video you just need to make a cut between your video go to transition and here we have a couple of transitions transitions over here so I want to apply some kind of lens flare over here and this transition it will be really great I think so yeah this looks really great you just need to drag and drop between your clip and your all set so I really recommend you go ahead and check it out Filmora for free link in the description below so yeah that's all about this video I hope you like this effect if you like this effect give me a big thumbs up and comment down below if you have any question about this video please let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video I will see you in the next one